Now there's a sight for sore eyes. Pull up. Hello, Mr. Sinclair. Mum says hi. It's much more relaxing here, eh? Company's a marked improvement here. That's for damn sure. Just a pity that the tasteful Miss John left the stocking of the liquor cabinet to her tasteless hound of a husband. Ha ha ha! New money just ain't got the style of the classics like you and me. Why settle for less, I say? These good people welcome me into their home. They deserve the best. I happen to know that slacker up the hill was holding on to some vintage art killing whiskey as an investment. And when those internet kids moved in, I gave them a bottle of Maison Saint Vivant that's older than they are. <laughs> if only some kind soul would help an old man out, I could raise everyone's spirits. Or we could keep it to ourselves, eh? <laughs> Get me those drinks, and I swear to you, I'll make it worth your time. I've got something special that'll make those mealy-mouthed, undead bastards slither back into their graves. So, I get the quality booze, bring it back, we drink said booze, whilst you show off your impressive weapon. No giggling in the back row. I knew I could rely on you, kid. Godspeed. You're not in a rush, are you? Keep an old man company. If this were my gaff, would I keep hard killing single mort in the cellar? Sports room, bedside table, mouthwash bottle? Suspicious clue. Couldn't have just hidden it in the shed, like everyone else. Not odd killing. Maybe if I fashion a totes awesome whiskey detector from scrap and bandages.
Of course she'll have the key. Success! Boom. Our 
kill him. Lovely.
Hello. Goodies for big game hunter Nicky Guts, you say? Locked away by the mailman for safety. Now, where'd he get to? Wine cellar. Start at the bottom and work up.
Rest in pieces, OB. Remember, crime occasionally does not pay. Cooking wine. Ha! Cook. Et voila. Uber plonk. Get in. You there, kid? If you're still down at that modern mansion, look out for a cigar box. The finest Cubans. Gave them as a housewarming gift. And I got a hankering. <laughs> Mr. Sinclair, even during a zompocalypse, I'm reticent about burglary. <laughs> then I'll sweeten the deal. Check their master bedroom, and you'll find a little something extra. <laughs>
All done. Mr. Sinclair, your order is being processed.
Usually, I only run errands for my mom. You're too good to me, kid. And don't let anyone say that Curtis Sinclair is not a man of his word. You take my rifle, Peggy. And for the cigars, I'll throw in some ammunition to get you started. But Mr. Sinclair, your hands are neither cold nor dead. Old Peggy's done right by me over the years, but my joints can't handle her kickback no more. Treat her right, and she'll look after you, too. My mom is flipping angelic cartwheels right now. But what about you? Ah, uh, no need to worry about me, kid. They can try and bite me. My hide's tougher than a two-dollar steak. Besides, I can still handle a pistol just fine. I'll be all right with Peggy's little sister, Betty, on my hip. <laughs> If I was five years younger, I would be out there with you kids raising... by my side whatever
Another controversial beachfront development. Anybody home? Zulu don't surf. Lovely. So, the quarantine corridor to the lifeguard tower. Huh. 
locked down. What would Captain Ellie Vixen do? Command override. Here we go. Stay frosty, Jay. Reception was a bloodbath. Two stars. Duty roster. Hold on. I need to know when. The officer of the day had the code. The fella on duty was Hicks. So, corpse or zombie? Corpse or zombie? Excuse me. Come on, Hicks, where are you? Not our boy. Sorry. Jacob Nilpois. Not a sausage. Huh? Jacob Nilpois. Not a sausage. More of the code. Still got to find Hicks, or at least his tags. And he had a bad tum. Potty time. Lovely. One master code. Set phases to exfoliate. Stars. I'm Jacob. This is Warrant Officer Rodriguez. You should turn around, dumbass. That corridor is not secure. But it's your funeral. Out. Funeral, schmuneral. 
once more onto the bridge. is mine, and mine to toss alone. doing it. Well, good luck, and give them hell from me. No doubt. Anything I should know? I'm not gonna lie. It's tough beyond this gate. Any more detail? Numbers? Sizes? I mean, I can wing it, but... Rabbit soup coming up.
Shit. Sterling Hotel, Dr. Reed, and a CDC seat out of here. So, Rodriguez, what you hiding? Huh? Whoa, a trap! 
But no rumble of boots. Still nothing. Rodriguez, dost thou attempt to deceive? <laughs> so, loads of traps, but no squad of grunts. to get killed on occasion but not today get over here and explain yourself you always do the opposite of what you're told I wanted to come up and see the whole gang stupid well lesson learned the whole antisocial misanthrope routine is because just shut up okay right now you are sand in my grease there's two ways this goes you make yourself useful, or my boot propels your ass back where it came from. Quid pro quo, Rodriguez. Quid pro quo. Ugh, right. How about some genuine U.S. Army gear? Finest in the world. Or so they tell us. Then consider me quoed. We've got a deal. Then listen up. I got a hole in my defenses. Thuppets keep coming from the pits out back, and contrary to rumor, I'm particular about exposing my rear. Pit? Death pits? How do we deal with that? Fire. Burn them all. Watch for traps on the way out. Don't need my last line of def defense fucked up by some clumsy dolt.
Just remember, the scene of daycare. Hey! <laughs> 